Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. I know I look strange, it's because I don't have a lot of makeup except the base on and I haven't been filming for a long time, it's because my camera stopped working and now I got a new camera. This is my first video filming with that camera and I'm kind of nervous but also excited. So let me know down below what you think about this picture, what do you think about the light? Is it too dark? Is it too light? I don't know, I can't really see. Um, doesn't really want to work with my computer yet, I need to fix that. But I'm here today to try the new brand that it's called Urban Glow and it's vegan, it's cruelty free, it's all good ingredients that it's not going to harm your skin and I have the full collection here so if you're interested to see what products I'm going to use today then please keep on watching. Um, I don't know a lot about the Urban Glow, Urban Glow brand, but I know everything is very, it's 100% vegan, it's uh, without any ingredients that will harm or can harm the skin, it's also um, made in Scandinavia. They don't have a lot of shades, so I bought all, all, every single product they have on a website and it's from Coca Panda, the Swedish uh, website. Now this is cruelty free and vegan. They only have one shade in each category, except the lip gloss, they have three shades. But like an uh, eyebrow product or powder, they have one shade, it's O1 uh, Brow Powder Duo. I don't know if you can see it. Everything is nice and matte white packaging. I kind of like it. It's easy. It's nice. And I'm going to use uh, this product today. Uh, I own, just opened it and it looks small. The one thing is that every single product looks lighter on the website than it does in real life. So I'm kind of scared and I'm not really sure that every single product is going to suit me. But let's try. And if you're similar to me, you know if it, this is going to work for you or not. So you can have me as your guideline. Let's find a brush. I do have the mirror in here, which I think is so cute. And it's nice product. Let's swatch it before, just to see what we are doing. This is like a highlighter, can't really see it. Yeah, it's like a nice soft highlighter. And this is a nice brown shade. I know this is going to be suitable for, oh that's, it's very pigmented, suitable for lighter skin tones. I didn't set my face which bothers me a little bit. Um, I mean this is going on nice. I like using the powder to fill in my eyebrows, eyebrows especially when I'm in a hurry and I always use the Anastasia Berry Heels eyebrow powder. It's, it's very pigmented and very nice. I don't know if this is going to be suitable though for lighter, if you have lighter eyebrows than I do. I'm not really sure. Maybe they will release more shades. I like the eyebrow product so far. Let's see the lighter shade. Clean the brush and I'm going to go in with the lighter shade to kind of maybe add a little bit as a highlight. Very nice cute mirror. Oh, that's nice. It covered where I messed it up a little bit. Very nice. I do like the eyebrow product. Let's go over to, I need to set my face because it feels really, really weird. And I do have a setting powder, a translucent powder. It says finish lines here. Um, it looks a little bit darker than I expected if you can see but it looks a little bit dark it doesn't look to be translucent it does have it does have like 
what it's called pigmented it feels like that let's set the face I do have a nice clean brush it's very light very soft pressed definitely has some pigment doesn't look to be translucent I haven't been filming for two weeks and I can notice that I don't really know what to say I, like I forgot to talk in front of a camera this is matte so it does make my skin look more matte but it doesn't look bad I kind of like it totally you can totally see that I do have powder on my face but it does take sometimes time for my face to work with the product and make everything look soft and nice and not cakey so I do like it you can see it on my face but let's uh, I will definitely try it a little bit more so far so good I mean it doesn't it didn't change shade of my foundation a lot but it definitely has like some pigment I can't say it's or maybe it is translucent I don't know maybe it's just in my head let's continue then we have uh, we have bronzer this is heat weight let's watch it and this is I forgot to tell you guys this is around $16 the bar jet product is around $14 the setting powder, translucent setting powder, is around $15. This is around $16, the bronzer. And I'm going to use a small brush today. Because I'm scared, I'm going to use the mirror because I do like the packaging. The packaging feels almost similar. It feels similar to Ofra. Ooh, oh, that's definitely powdery I pressed a little bit too, let's watch it too much not bad Ooh, okay ready oh did pick up a lot of the product but it doesn't it's not that dark on the face um, oh, I like it. I'm surprised, but it it's very powdery. You will have product everywhere, like I do right now. It's all over my phone and on my shirt. It's not a shirt, but on my clothes. But guys, I do do like the mirror, and I like the shade. It's not as dark on the skin as it is in the pan and it's buildable so it's not too pigmented that you can't kind of blend it away but I like it look at me I go on and on with the bronzer I love bronzy look and I love bronzers I can't go out without the bronzer I look so and feel so flat I really like this <laughs> I really like this bronzer I like it a little bit more than I expected that I would I was really excited about these products when they launched on Coco Panda's website and I ordered every single product now everything came except the lip gloss so I uh, contacted them again and they sent it to me so I did I kind of waited for a week to film this because I wanted to try all of the products and not only kind of felt weird to have all of the products except one so I did wait that a week to film it and I was excited but when I received all of the products I had to be honest I was kind of scared that it's going to be too dark for my skin tone and I was a little bit sad and disappointed but I'm surprised I'm surprised how much I like this everything looks so smooth and very very nice so easy to build up it's very smooth blends like a dream definitely my favorite so far i also love the eyebrow product okay let's go over to the blush i do have a blush palette this is the blush palette number one just as one and 
doesn't have a shade name or anything, just number one. And the shades are beautiful, I have to say. Also, very nice white sleek packaging. I do like it. It feels expensive, it feels heavy. All of the packages are very nice. And this is the shades. They, everything has a nice mirror in the product. That is why I also really like this brand because it's vegan, it's very good for the skin, nothing's going to harm my skin or maybe let make me break out. I don't hurt myself using these products. I'm going to swatch everything. I feel like I have powder everywhere right now. But I'm going to swatch all three uh, all shades here. Ooh, they feel very nice. Everything is very soft pressed. They look darker and more pigmented in the pen than they really are when you swatch them. But that's also good, which means you can build it up and play with it as you like. Okay, so me looking at this right now looks like it's the same color but lighter, more shimmery and darker. But it's almost the same undertone. Or maybe not, I don't know. Maybe not when you blend it. But I'm definitely going to use this shade. And I'm going to go in with the... I don't know if you can see, but it looks like... He, this is more peachy and this is more pink. I know. Let's go in. I'm going to go in with this shade here. Also comes on the brush very a lot of product comes on the brush but let's ooh that's pigmented it has a nice soft sheen I do like this it's more pigmented than the bronzer but I lo love a blushy look Let's just take a powder brush and maybe just blend a little bit. I do like this brush. Also blends very, very nice. Now I have to be careful to not use too much because I do have big, huge pores. And I did went with the shimmery side. So I'll definitely use the matte one here around my pores because it does exaggerate them a little bit. But... It happens with every sh shimmery blush if I don't use a pore filling primer, which I didn't use today. Like this, uh, I like this very much. Also very affordable. Did I say the price? I don't know. Let me look at the price. It's $20, so it's not too expensive. Very nice price for that too. Okay, let's go to the highlighter. Yes, I can't wait. This is a highlighter number one star glaze. Which is which looks amazing. And the highlighter is around $15. I say around is because in Sweden it's 149 Swedish crowns, which is around between 14 and 15. Um, dollars. This is this looks on the website. It looks very light in real life. It looks dark. I don't know. I'm nervous feels powdery looks powdery mm, Looks to be a little bit too dark for me right now Maybe when I get more tan, but it looks nice. It looks to be a sad. It looks to be a very soft highlight and maybe not one that will scream on your face just going to use a clean brush let's try it let's just try to see if it's too dark maybe I could use a little bit of um, an eyeshadow I forgot to put eyeshadow on uh, I feel like it's definitely a little bit darker for my skin tone right now but it gives me a very nice shine be not too dark. Let's build it up. Oh, I like the shade. Yeah, it's a little bit, I don't know if you can see, it gives me a little bit of a, a shadow here. Definitely a little bit too dark for me right now, but in during the summer, this will be a very nice highlighter because I do really like the shade. 
and it gives me that natural glow but it does give me like a shadow here let's use a powder brush and just tone me down not bad okay so I am going to set my eyes I use a lot of wipes today I'm going to use an eyeshadow primer to set my eyes because I do want to use bronzer on the eyelids to just create a very natural soft makeup look I don't feel to go all glam today I'm off work a week now and it feels very nice I'm going to set this with the translucent setting powder I like the packaging, it feels very nice and matte. Let's go in with the bronzer. I'm going to use bronzer as my, um, in my crease. And I want to use the highlighter on my eyes too. So I'm going to use a little bit of the bronzer on my, ooh, I like that shade. So I'm going to build it up. Hey, that, this looks nice. It's not too warm, it's not too cool shade. I know how it's going to show on camera, but right now in real life, when I look at myself in the mirror, I really like the shade of this bronzer. So I'm going to use my fingers and I'm going to go in with the highlighter. Mm, very soft. Let's go with the brush and wet it a little bit. Let's use a spray. Very soft pressed and powdery, but they go on the skin very nice. Now it's showing a little bit more. There comes the glow. And everything is supposed to be eye safe too. Which means you can definitely use it on the eyes. To deep up the corners a little bit, I am going to use the eyebrow product. Yes, I am. With a very nice soft brush. And this is uh, Jaclyn Hill 40. Where is that product? And see if we can deep it up a little bit. I was so concentrated in what I'm doing, so I stopped talking. <laughs> um, I like this nice, soft makeup look that I created. Let's go in again with this brush and just blend the edges a little bit more. And voila, very nice, soft makeup look. Let's go with the product that is left on the brush, go under the eyes. I think that's enough. It looks very nice. Okay, so I'm going to use some mascara. Highlighter is soft. It's maybe not my favorite product because one, it's a little bit too dark for my skin tone right now. Two, it's a little bit too soft for me. I like more dramatic, more dramatic highlighters, but definitely sometimes I feel for natural. So I'll use it. You know that. Maybe I'll change my mind later. This powder definitely, face powder definitely doesn't want to work with my foundation. And the foundation I do have on my face, I can see it looks very weird on my T-zone. It's the Puma foundation. This one, it doesn't really want to work with the powder. But I'll try it with another product. Or another foundation. Okay. We have lipstick, lips left. Now, uh, they have three shades of the uh, lip glosses. I have lip gloss, that it's lightest number one. It's called Pink Lemonade. The second one is Two Peach Shine. And the third one is Pink Pink. Number three, Pink Pink. Let's take all of the shades so you can check it out. 
the shades uh, are not the ones that I reach for, but definitely something I can experiment with a little bit more. This is the shades. Let's watch them. This is the first shade. Oh, it's very nice. And if you can see, that's, let's apply more. That swatch wasn't really good. There it is. Mm. Smells very sweet. This one, it looks nice. Let's watch it on the lips. Mm. Very nice, soft shade. It looks darker in the packaging than it comes out on the lips. This could be definitely every day, though this is a more heavier lip gloss. And also, you can feel it on the lips, but also a little bit sticky. Not too much, but it's a little bit heavy on the lips, if you like that. Very moisturizing. And it's, let's see, designed in Norway, made in Taiwan. It's Norwegian, but it looks like. This is the shade Pink Lemonade. I do like this shade. It's a nice shade on the lips. Everyday shade. Like I said, could be a problem when it's windy outside because it's heavier lip gloss. Very moisturizing, heavier. But I feel that sweet scent also. Let's remove it. It is sticky. Let's go with another shade, shade number two, Peach Shine, which looks orange and beautiful. Definitely more glossy. Orange. I don't know if you can see the swatches. Swatches are terrible. Same texture. Oh, this is, it's minty too. Refreshing. It takes a little bit, it takes a while to feel it on the lips. This is more pigmented than the first one. This one is also cute. Let's take this off. This one is also nice on the lips. It doesn't feel bad, but it feels heavy and feels sticky. Not too sticky, but it just feels like I have something on my lips. Maybe it won't bother me too, but don't apply too much because then you will have the products like sticking together on the lips. I'm not hating it. Nice shade. Let's go with the craziest shade. This is the number three. This is pink pink. Definitely pink one. Oh, and most pigmented. Let's see how that shade will go on my lips. Look on me. I don't think I wear that. I don't usually wear these kind of shades, but maybe I will start. The applicator is not bad. It's very soft, very nice or small. Definitely the most pigmented of all of them. But I have to say, what I like about them is it's though they are like heavy and also heavy and a little bit sticky, like a broke record, but it feels very moisturizing, refreshing because it has like a, that mint feeling to it. It feels very nice on the lips. The shade doesn't look bad. I do look tired because I look feel like very pale right now. But it's not bad. I do I do like this color too. I think I will wear this color a little bit more than I usually do. So far, the favorite product is eyebrow product and the bronzer. A uh, bronzer. Those two products are my favorites. The product that I it's my least favorite is the highlighter, and it's definitely because of the shade, not of the texture. Not of the, because of the texture, it's because of the shade. It's not as pigmented and blinding like I would like it to. Maybe it will work all over the face or maybe for someone that has deeper skin tones. For, but for me, it's a little bit dark. I'm really surprised. I really like 
this part is for urban um, urban glow brand and i'll definitely experience a little bit more i really like it i know i will put the information down below and website where you can purchase it i did purchase it from a swedish brand website coco panda and i love that website there fast shipping and also the um, custom service is perfect but this is all of the products that i've been trying out so this is all of the products hi guys sorry I've been having this makeup on for a couple of hours and I have to say that I really like the lip glosses too. They are not sticky anymore. It was a little bit in the beginning, but now the moisture just is softened my lips and it feels very comfortable on the lips. And I really like the lip glosses more than I thought. Powder is also nice now when it's been sitting on my face. And I have to say that I really, really like this brand and definitely going to try more when they launch more products. Um, so that is my little check-in. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, or like this video too. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.